This is Rampage, baby. This is the show that y'all been waiting on. The adrenaline pumping your chest. This is Rampage, yeah. Uh, this is Rampage, yeah. yeah. This is Rampage. This is Rampage. Hey y'all, it's Love and Universe, it's Ray. We are packed here in the O2 Arena in London, England, the night before AEW All in London, here for the final edition of our Rampage Special, our third and the final of the Rampage Special. And tonight, Blackpool Combat Club take on Bullet Club in six-man action. Hook has something to say to the Ellis Alone Universe. We will hear from the AEW Tag Team Champions and so much more here on here on Rampage the day before AEW All in London. Well, ladies and gentlemen, to start Rampage here in London tonight. We have a confrontation between these two. The leader of Follower Fall. Here he comes. Darby Allen. Of course, Darby Allen tomorrow faces Malachi Black at All in London. Last last week, Malachi Black and and Brody King would have a war to main event Rampage. I actually, if you if you did not catch that match, I really go, I really suggest going back and watching the main event. It was a really good main event. But Darby Allen tonight. Looking to this forward to this battle with Malachi Black tomorrow. So as I'm sure all of you saw in the battle last week, it was made official I shall face in my climactic war, Malachi Black. Something I hope to avoid up to this point. I know many of you would have called me a coward for it. Well, let me explain something to you all. Malachi Black, he's the devil. You can't trust the devil. It's time you, it's time everyone, it's time people in the back especially learn you cannot trust a devil. And the house learned that. That's why I took the house from him. That's why I built my own home. And now my group stands on the precipice of greatness. And he wants to call me back to his fake holy war. Malachi, tomorrow, when I hurt you, when I finished you, when I beat you, no, it is just an aftermath. The story already concluded long ago. It is you and you only that's living in the past. And wait a minute. Here comes his opponent. For the first time speaking face to face. Since Darby Allen took the House of Black from him. Malachi Black is here. And Malachi Black. He looks. He looks so. So haunted. So. Aggressed. Pug. Possessed, he's is a, the likes of which we haven't seen before. Like I said last week, his brutal clash with Brody King to main event rampage. Brody King would power ball Malachi Black in the center of the ring. Malachi Black would kick up immediately and just nail him with a black mask to end it all. And he rolls to the center. To think, this is the first time we stood face to face. 
truly like this, where I, where you weren't attacking me, and I weren't paying you back for it. You know, Darby, before you went and decided to come into my home, my house, and burn it down from within, I had some sort, of, some sort of respect for you. I appreciate the moniker you wore on your chest. Nothing's over till you're underground. I agree with that sentiment, Darby. I deeply agree with that sentiment. See, Darby, you may have taken me out. You may have hurt me, but you did not bury me that night. And that night, you made a horrible mistake in not burying me. You should have feared me, because everyone shall. As Brody King learned to fear me, as Butcher and Blade learned to fear me, as everyone in the back, like you, learned to fear me. The cowards. The men with no guts and no dignity. The men like you who parade around pretending to be any sort of real force of their own. That's who should be scared of Malachi Black. That is who should fear me. And make no mistake, tomorrow I will leave you Buried. Malachi Black with some strong words for Darby Allen ahead of their match at AEW All in London. And to open us up here on Rampage. It is a tag team match, and here they are, and here they come. John Silver and Alex Reynolds, the Dark Order. The Dark Order walk into this match tonight. I guess, I guess one of many people we'll be seeing will be featured on All In London tomorrow, Saturday, at 11 o'clock. So make sure you're here for that. All In London, of course, full card. If you, I, I believe, um, yeah, voting should still be open. So if you want to get on prediction seat, go to the community tab. On the YouTube channel page, and you can then put in your predictions for All in London and see the full card. And here they come now two men who are going to be one of the most personal matches tomorrow Matt Jackson. Nick Jackson, the Young Bucks. And look at him. Of course, the Young Bucks a couple weeks ago turning on one Kenny Omega in favor of themselves, in favor of just returning back to what they to their roots of just being the Bucks. Matt and Nick Jackson, the most innovative tag team in the history of professional wrestling. And tonight, they face the Dark Order. And But tomorrow, let's not forget, tomorrow what lies ahead of them. Kenny Omega and his brother, his lover, his golden lover, Kota Ibushi. In that big tag team match tomorrow at All in London. And here we go. Sean Silver. Going to start things off with Nick Jackson. And here we go. And now Nick starts it off. Big super kick from Nick Jackson to open up and a massive kick to Silver to follow up. And now Nick Jackson picking up John Silver. Oh, John Silver fights out of it though. And now John Silver picking up Nick Jackson. Backbreaker by John Silver. And now John Silver picking him up once again. Wait, Nick Jackson fights out of it. And now 
know, Nick Jackson, wait a minute, John Silver going to bring him down again with that big shot. The small but mighty John Silver now tagging Alex Reynolds. Big take down there from Alex Reynolds. Now Alex Reynolds throws Nick Jackson off the ropes. Alex Reynolds with that big drop kick to Nick Jackson. Sending it back. Wait, Nick Jackson fighting back. Super kick from Nick Jackson. And Nick Jackson already starting a free super kick party here. And now Nick Jackson with Alex Reynolds. Throws his head into the turnbuckle. Now going to tag in the older brother, Matt. And now, wait, Matt Jackson. Alex Reynolds get picked up. Here we go. Powerbomb into the insecurity. Matt Jackson tenderizing Alex Reynolds. And now picks up Alex Reynolds. Brings him down on the knee. And now Alex Reynolds is going to be subject to some big moves here. From, oh, big stomp there. From Matt Jackson. And now Matt Jackson picks him up, brings him down with a backbreaker. And now Alex Re and now Alex Reynolds trying to get his hang on John Silver, but a leg drop from Matt Jackson. And now Matt Jackson calling up. Wait a minute, running him in there? No. Matt Jackson throws him off. Alex Reynolds goes under, goes over. Big drop kick there. And now Alex Reynolds going for that tag. Matt Jackson trying to cut Alex, Alex Reynolds off. And I think he's going to go for the tag with John Silver. Tag to Silver. And now wait a minute. Wait a minute. Silver going to get flung by Silver. Reynolds gets flung by Silver right into Matt Jackson. Wait, Matt Jackson avoids that move though by John Silver. And now wait. John Silver telling out some punishment though. John Silver picks him up. Oh, big double choke. Big choke slam there to Matt Jackson. And now Matt Jackson picked up gut wrench. Power bomb. And wait, oh kick up there from Matt Jackson. Matt Jackson though lays him out. And now Matt Jackson taps back in Nick. Nick going for that super kick again. No. Wait a minute, Nick Jackson. Held up here. No, no, no. Going down by going down by John Silver. John Silver. In the cover. Kick out by Nick once again. And now wait, Nick Jackson. Brought to that backbreaker. No. Nick Jackson. Brings him down to the ropes. Wait, Nick Jackson. For that hung. DDT on John Silver. And John Silver still trying to get up here. Coming off the ropes. Drop kick there to Silver. Or drop kick to her. And now wait. John Silver throws to the turnbuckle once again. And now wait. Nick Jackson brings the head down. And now Nick Jackson. Oh. Disrupted there by Reynolds. Wait. But now Nick Jackson fights back. Super kick. And now wait. Oh. John. S Alex Reynolds taken out. And now John Silver's in major trouble here. Thrown into the turnbuckle. Oh my god, he's going to go for that big move. No, he's going to go for the Meltzer driver. We're fighting out of it once again. It's Nick Jackson. Nick Jackson with a big uppercut. Oh, wait a minute. John Silver picks him up. Powerbomb to my John Silver. What in that week? Nick's already. Matt's already there to break it. Matt already there to break it. No, no, no. He runs across the ring. Matt Jackson back into the match. Matt Jackson comes in. Hurricane Rana. Not letting Silver <clears throat> work over the Bucks anymore. Massive kick there to John Silver. And another one lays him out. And now, wait a minute, Nick Jackson. Wait a minute, Matt, Matt working him over more. Matt Jackson kicking John Silver in the head. John Silver now bleeding from these massive kicks. Wait a minute, John Silver being picked up here. John Silver picks him up. John Silver with the military press. Oh, brings him down. 
And now John Silver doing it once more. Taking him around the world, dropping him down. And now John Silver ta gonna tag Alex Reynolds. Alex Reynolds back into the match. Matt Jackson in trouble, back body drop by Alex Reynolds. Could you imagine if the Dark Order could win this match? So, f with right before all in London. But wait a minute, fighting out of it's Matt Jackson. Matt Jackson, oh, taken out by that, taken out there. And now into the cover. Kick out. And now Alex Reynolds is in, has him in trouble once again. No. Escape once again. Massive drop kick there. And now John Silver taken out. And now Alex Reynolds. Gonna get fed here. Wait, Alex Reynolds avoids it once again. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. The Bucks. Massive stomp to the back of Alex Reynolds. And now Alex Reynolds set up once again. Oh, big brain buster there from Nick Jackson. And Nick Jackson with another uppercut. Taking out Silver. No, Silver. Says no. And now Silver reaching out for that tag. Silver deflects again. Uppercut to Alex Reynolds. But wait a minute. The Buck. Trying to come after him here. Trying to come after John Silver. Oh, big neck breaker there. Possibly spending him. No. Super kick. One, two, three. The Bucs win this match. Alex Reynolds thought, tried to take advantage. Silver was taken out, but Reynolds thought he had a moment of opportunity, but no. The Bucks win before all in London. Off a massive super kick from Nick Jackson. It all goes down tomorrow. We have more. You know the funny thing, Dax and Cash? We liked you a lot. We had a lot of respect for you. When, even when you pinned us, we had a lot of respect for you. We thought you were, you two were the best damn technically sound tag team in the world. That's why when we got together, we wanted to wrestle you. We didn't just want the tag team titles. We wanted to wrestle you. Until you showed that you couldn't handle the idea that someone could be better. Until you show you're just like Matt and Nick. You're just like them. You cannot handle the idea that there might be a better team out there. You know, me and me and Kyle, we aren't champions because we want to be the best. We're champions because we love to wrestle. And that's why we are st we stand at the top of this business. That's why we stand as the best tag team in the world. Not because we want to be, just because we are. Because every week we get in there and we show this true passion to all the wrestling fans out there that we... That we show each and every day of our lives. You two decided to show your true cowardice. You two decided to jump us. You two decided to make it personal. So guess what? We can make it personal right back. Because tomorrow night, we're going to tap both of you out. And here we go, folks. We have more singles action coming up on Rampage. Out next... One half of the former AEW Tag Team, Jamie is the Lucha Brothers, also associated with the Bastard Pock in Death Triangle. Penta El Zeto Miedo is here. <laughs> Penta El Zeto Miedo tonight goes one-on-one -on -one with one Eddie Kingston. Of course, Eddie Kingston has a match just in, in 24 hours' time. Are technically because this premieres at night in 17 hours time at All in London.
So the knight, Penta, gets the first shot at him. And you know Pac told Penta, give him a run for his money. And here he comes. The underground king, ignore the piece of shit Titan Trons. Eddie Kingston. Eddie Kingston looking ready to go here tonight, folks. And of course, as I said, tomorrow faces Pac. Pac, of course, costing Eddie Kingston the shot at the AEW International title against against Buddy Matthews tomorrow night. And that led to their war of words last week that would ultimately end in Pac turning tail and running away in the announcement of their match for All in London. And here we go. Penta versus Eddie Kingston. Eddie Kingston opens it up with a bad chop. A massive chop across the... Across the front of Penta. Now Penta. Oh, kicks him away. Penta comes forward there. Coming down with a massive descending chop. Penta now takes him up. Massive trip there. Connects. And now Hook. And now wait. Penta picks him up. Oh, power bomb there on, on Eddie Kingston. Into the cover. One, two. Kingston kicks out. And now Kingston, oh, DDT to, across the leg. And Penta aiming downward there. Wait a minute. Kingston picks him up. Oh, break across the back. And now Eddie Kingston picks him up. Oh, massive suplex there. Connects from Eddie Kingston. The underground king. It's putting a hurting on Penta. Wait, Penta now starting to fight back though. Penta takes him down into the cover. Super kick. From Penta to Kingston into the cover. One kick out from Eddie Kingston. Oh wait, yeah, wait, Kingston. Slowly trying to fight his way back into this. No, Penta throws him over. Kingston says no. Kingston lights him up with a with a forearm strike there. Now trying to take him down. No, Kingston fights his way back. Oh, leaping forearm there the Penta. And wait, Penta, he's picked up here, Eddie Kingston. No, Penta fights out. Oh, and death drop there from it, from Penta. And now Penta, no kicking out, no. And Eddie Kingston taking it down once again, picks up, picks him up, slams him down. Now into the cover, one, two, kick out from Penta once again. Penta and Eddie Kingston. Already going tit for tat here. And a big kick connect there from Penta. Trying to pick him up. No, Kingston fights out of that one. And now wait, Eddie Kingston picks him up once again. Side slam from Kingston. That side suplex connects from Eddie Kingston. One, two, kick out. From Penta there, Penta. Escaping to the outside for Eddie Kingston. Kingston. Dealing Penta to get back in the ring. Waiting Kingston. Waiting for him though. Kingston. Wait Penta grabbed up. No wait. Penta picks him up. Oh suplex there. And now wait Penta. It's going to drill him. Hips it. Oh my god. And wait a minute, I think he wants to finish him with a package pile driver. Nails it! One. Kick out from Kingston! What the hell is Eddie Kingston made of? And now Kingston. Take it down once again. And wait, Penta calling him up to his feet. Look at the elbow drop. No! And wait, Kingston. Chops him, takes him down.
And wait a minute, I think he's calling him up here. Kingston. Hits him down. Kingston, I think he wants to hit the Urican. The Urican, Urican connects. The Urican connects across the face of Penta. One, two, three, and he kicks and wins this match. The Underground King with the win on Rampage. Eddie Kingston showing even more of his brutality here. And Kingston celebrating here. Wait, Pac! There's the bastard! And the oh, massive hit there. Pac taking down Eddie Kingston. Standing room salt from the bastard Pac. And now Pac goes up top. Eddie Kingston totally not caught off guard. Black arrow from Pac. Remember this. Remember this. Pac is incensed here. Another black arrow. And Eddie Kingston totally caught off guard. Aubrey Edwards begging Pac to stop. But I don't think he intends to. And now Pac put him up, puts him up on the shoulders. Drops him down. Pac. Picks up Eddie Kingston. Rings of Saturn on K Brutalizer on Eddie Kingston. I'm going to enjoy hurting you. I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> you can see the the manic laughter of the bastard Pac Eddie Kingston. Totally, just totally caught off guard. I mean, hurt by, by Pac here. Pac finally lets Kingston go. And Kingston just trying to gather himself. And Pac's walking away. Pac is totally brutal. And ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, we have some women's action here on Rampage. Out first. The Joshi Sensation. Rio. Rio is here tonight. She is, of course, facing maybe the meanest woman in all the division right now in Soraya. Soraya, the original underground queen of women's wrestling. And now Riho. Tonight looks to knock her off. Of course, Soraya has a big match tomorrow at All in London. That was made by Ricky Steamboat after Soraya chose to take away Willow Nightingale's match. Willow Nightingale was trying to get a winning streak going. And then Soraya and her frustration with her so with herself and her own shortcomings in her career. She attacked her. But Soraya so from the desk of Ricky Steamboat, if Soraya wants to be that way, if she wants a match so badly. For all in London, she can have it against Willow Nightingale. That, ma that match happens tomorrow at all in London, of course. As we announced earlier this week. But of course, Soraya tonight faces Riho. And that's, this is a very tough match to have. It's, it cannot, you cannot say she does not deserve it. That beatdown on Willow Nightingale last week was absolutely brutal from this woman. And tonight, of course, Soraya, we are in her home. We are in her home country tonight. We are tonight in London. Tomorrow in Wembley. Or today in the O2. If we were being in London, I believe the O2. Yes, yes. But Soraya, here we go. Faces Riho. Rio starts off big kicks on Soraya. Soraya, oh, gets DDT'd by Rio for her trouble. And now into the cover, Soraya kicks out. And now Soraya grabs Riho, picks her up. Oh, big fall away slam there. And now, wait a minute. 
Picks her up. Backbreaker from Soraya. And Soraya coming forward. Oh, B. Rio pushes her away. Soraya, she's not a big one, but Rio is the smallest one on the AEW roster. So Soraya, for the first time ever, is kind of big enough to dominate somebody when it comes to AEW. And I'm coming down on the head. Of course, when it came to Jamie Hayter at their match a couple weeks ago, it would be Hayter who had that size advantage. And now Soraya oh, gets kicked in the gut by Riho. Now Riho again gets pushed away by Soraya. Soraya oh, just stomps out the head. And now kicks her in the gut. And now Soraya. Gonna get the count restarted here. On Rampage. Oh, they go for two. They go for dueling drop kicks. And now coming in on them. No. Soraya picks her up. Another tilt the world slam on the outside. Three count from the referee here. And now Riho. In trouble here. Thrown into the. Thrown back into the ring. Soraya picks her up. Rio fights out. Rio coming forward. No. Soraya cuts it off again. And now Soraya picking her up. Oh, big, big neck breaker there into the cover. One, two, kick out by Rio. And Rio kicks her way up here. What can Rio do? Again, Soraya just pushes her away. Rio needs to find something to do. Wait, Rio goes to the springboard. Rio grabs her with the legs. Rio finally gets Soraya down. And now Rio finally starting to rally here on Soraya. Again, Soraya just pushes her away. It's not going to work out for Rio. Rio needs to rethink her strategy. And wait a minute. Finally, Rio gets, that big, gets her going here. Big, big arm drag. And now into a drop kick on Soraya. And now Rio picks her up. Head scissor. Turns out, wait a minute, Rio calling for it. 619 to Soraya. And Rio now. I think she wants to end it. I think she wants to end it. Wait a minute, there's, there's Soraya. Takes her down. Wait a minute. Riho fights out of that. Over the drop kick. No, Soraya dodges. Soraya chopping away on Riho. Going for the drop kick. Riho throws her off the ropes. Takes her down. And now Riho. I think wants to finish Soraya here. Massive Meteora combo. Sits down the underground queen. One. Kick out from Soraya. And Soraya just staring at her. And here we go again. Another massive meteor combo. And oh my god. Soraya just incensed. Soraya showing a mean streak. I don't think we've ever seen from her. And Soraya. Neckbreaker again on Riho. Rio just hit her with her best shot twice in a row. And Soraya shook it off. And now wait a minute. Soraya now. Center of the ring. Her home country watching. Here. Takes a PTO. One. Two. Three. Soraya. With the win here. What a match for these two here tonight. Riho coming back here. Really starting to establish domination over Soraya. But Soraya showing she may be better than ever here tonight. In front of her home country. And then she... But let's not forget. She has a personal... She has created a vendetta for another competitor. In Willow Nightingale. And that match goes down tomorrow night at All In London.
And ladies and gentlemen, these these men certainly have something to say. Here they come. With his father in tow, Taz. It took. An athlete that has asserted himself as one of the most dominant forces in AEW today. A couple weeks ago attacking and laying out a legend. This week, it appears he and his mouthpiece of a father has something to say. Let's not forget it was a couple weeks ago that he would lose to Wardlow in a big match. And of course, shortly after that, Wardlow will get sucked into that that match with John Moxley happening tomorrow. So of course, Wardlow and Taz, so of course, Hook and Taz rather, probably have something to definitely say about that. You all see this? You all see this right here? This right here is the biggest example of our family's disrespect. Me and my son are trying to create a new dynasty. And tomorrow night is the biggest show in the history of this business. And he's not even on it. I am so tired of being shown this disrespect. I've been shown this disrespect for almost 30 years. And you know what? That disrespect, that extends to everybody. Hook had to extend the disrespect he's been shown to RVD a number of weeks ago. But that doesn't matter. Because tonight, we are going to put a cloud on this entire weekend. Anyone in the back who wants to get their ass kicked by Hook, step up! And wait a minute. Oh my god. Oh my god, I talked about being attacked a couple weeks ago, but here he is now. It's Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam. Coming down here, Rob Van Dam. And this is it. Most a couple weeks ago, he announced his, uh, his signing to AEW only to be attacked by Hook. Tonight, he confronts him. On Rampage. Hey Tess. Heard you said your boy will take on anyone. How about the man he has he doesn't even have the balls to fight? See you misinterpret what he did. What happened to you last week was merely what happened to you a number of weeks ago was merely collateral damage. And that's all it is. All right? You think you think it was disrespect towards you? No. No, you were something towards the system. Uh, Rob, you you don't understand what I am getting at here. Maybe. Maybe not. But it doesn't change the fact that disrespect I'm about to show your son when I kick his ass is, is going to be so much more. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. And you know what? You know what? Just to, just to give your family some extra prestige, how about you make it... A false count anywhere match. Right here, right now. <laughs> you want that? You, you people here in London want it? Well, guess what? I never liked this stinking city anyway. So you can have it. You can have it, you little pothead bitch. And here we go. False count anywhere. Hook and Rob Van Dam. Hook starts out. Oh, Big Mark. Big Spear missed there. And Van Dam immediately focusing on the arms. And RVD wait. The big combo connecting. Van Dam picks him up. Power bomb on Hook. RVD out for vengeance on Hook. Here, wait, Hook kicks him away. And wait a minute now, Hook spear on Van Dam. And now Hook trying to hurt our RVD here. Picks him up. Massive suplex across the ring. Takes him down with a lariat. And wait a minute, Hook's had enough. Hook now beating up on Van Dam. And look here, and you can see Taz encouraging. Just continually stomping away on Van Dam. And Van Dam already cut open here by Ro by Hook. And Hook, Van Dam trying to fight his way forward. Spear on Rob Van Dam. 
And now, wait a minute. Hook removes that turnbuckle pad. Wait a minute. Oh, coming in with that springboard. It's Van Dam. Van Dam trying to fight back here. Van Dam's already split open, though. And Hook picks him up once again. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. He's going to drop him head first. Into that ring stuff. Into that exposed turnbuckle. And then there's booting him away. And you can see Taz laughing as Hook just continuously kicks the ass of Rob Van Dam. But Rob Van Dam refusing to quit here. Van Dam picks him up for an Alabama slam. No. Hook cuts it off. And now Hook, wait a minute, once again picks him up. Oh my god, he's going to do it again. He's going to do it again. He's going to do it again. Right into it once again. And trying again. Wait a minute. Van Dam though. Fights out of it again. And Van Dam covered in blood. Already trying to fight off trying to fight off Hook here. Hook chopped across the chest and Van Dam wait puts the leg in. And starts pulling on the leg of Hook. And now Van Dam picks up Hook. Snake eyes. Van Dam trying to hype up the crowd here. Wait, Hook grabs him. Hook suplex connects on Van, Rob Van Dam. And Van Dam just again picking himself up. And Hook now. Hook has a stop sign. But Van Dam coming over cross body. No. Does not connect and Hook. Hook already. Wait a minute. Van Dam in trouble here. Oh, bounced across the back of the head. And now, wait, Van Dam already slowly picking himself back up here. Another one. And you can see Rob Van Dam fell down like a sack of shit. And wait a minute. No, 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 no. Another big shot. No, Van Dam fights out of it. And Van Dam oh, finds Hook with another shot with that stop sign. One, two, kick out from Hook. Van Dam put so much behind that one shot. He was trying to do a one shot KO with it. And Van Dam pow, big body slam there. And wait, standing Moonsault on the outside to Hook as well. And now Hook tripped up by. Trips up Rob Van Dam. And wait, Hook now gets the steps of Van Dam. Wait, Van Dam Bulldogs Hook into his own steps. Ba Bulldog. Hook just being bulldogged here into the steel steps by Rob Van Dam. Van Dam and Hook continuing their battle here. Wait a minute, Hook. Take it away. No. Throw back into the ring by Van Dam. Van Dam saying no to that one. No, Van Dam comes in. Drop kick on Hook. And wait a minute, Van Dam. Going back to that stop sign. Clonks him with it. And wait, drops it on him once again. And wait. Oh, he's just going to town with it there. He is trying to hurt Hook here. And now Hook, oh, kick him away once again. And the fans encouraging him. Van Dam gets up on the turnbuckle going for that DDT. No. Headbutt from Hook. And now Hook telling his dad to get out of the way. He's going to use these steps on him. And wait a minute. He's going to throw in these steel steps. Throws it in. RVD. Wait a minute. Hook catches him off the guard. Hook. Oh, big suplex there. And two. Ripcord lariat on Rob Van Dam. And Rob Van Dam. Oh, wait. Small package from Van Dam. Kick out from Hook. And wait, Van Dam. With the stop sign once again. Trying to take him out. No. Hook. Trying to return fire. Oh, man. Big moonsault there. Takes him down. And now Van Dam going for that shot. No. 
Comes off the ropes. Wait a minute, Van Dam picks him up. He can see the blood pouring down Van Dam's face, takes him down. Moonsault from Van Dam on that stop sign. And now Hook crawls his way to the corner, Van Dam. Looking Hook in the eye. Picks him up. Hangs him out to dry. And now Rob Van Dam throws him into the corner. Van Dam kicks him down once again. Van Dam wants to hang him out to dry one more time. He does. And now Van Dam pitches that sign down on Hook. And Hook, wait a minute, what's Van Dam gonna do here, Van Dam? Five star frog splash! No, that misses! He missed the frog splash take that wait. Clothesline! And Hook and Van Dam super kick from Van Dam once again. And now Rob Van Dam drags it back to the center. One kick out from Hook. But look now, wait a minute, Van Dam slowly getting up to his feet. Tracks him with the sign. And now, oh, does it again. And wait a minute, how far does Van Dam want to go with this? Van Dam picks him up once again on him in the corner. Wait, Hook grabs it away from him. Hook takes him down with a spear. And now Van Dam picked up once again. Massive suplex across the ring. And now wait, Van Dam picked up. Wait a minute. Chicken wing suplex. And wait a minute. What's Hook planning to do here? Hook. Grabs him up. Oh my god, I think Hook wants to do this. Wait a minute, no! Oh, on the steps! Oh, Taz Black's on the steps! Now into the cover! One! Two! No kick out from Van Dam! The kick out from Rob Van Dam! And wait a minute, now Hook bashing him away again. I think Hook wants to get perfectly placed one more time. Hook. Oh, bad him one more time. Hook picks him up. Onto the steps once again. And Hook, Rob Van Dam rolls out of the ring. And I don't think Hook cares. Hook takes him down with a clothesline. Into the cover. One, two, no, Van Dam kicks out once again. Van Dam still trying to will his way forward. The kick coming in from Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam picks him up. Body slam from Van Dam. Now Van Dam throws him back into the ring. Hook. In trouble here, Van Dam. Is looking to do something to him. Trying to think of what to do next. Another body slam to get it perfectly aligned. One more time. Five star frog splash. One, two, kick out from Hook. Hook kicks out of that one, and Van Dam picks him up. I think Van Dam's had enough. Van Dam kicks to the head. Van Dam picks up the steps. Waiting for him to get up. Oh, wait, caught there with a punch. Spear by Hook. And Hook. It's a steel chair. 
And Wayman Hook drives it into the gut of Rob Van Dam. And another one. And Hook, wait a minute. Hook, oh my god, bashes Van Dam again. And another one. And another one. Van Dam Hook is just going insane here. Hook is incensed. Hook, Spear takes down Van Dam again. And once Van Dam, wait a minute, Hook. Another chair comes into play. Calls him up once again. Bashed him once again and Hook. Hook's just going insane. Oh, another one there. And wait a minute now. Oh. And you can see Van Dam. Van Dam can barely defend himself. Oh, Hook's just starting to fight back though. Wait, Hook. Taking up Northern Light Suplex for Van Dam. And Van Dam slowly willing his way back into this. Van Dam throws him into the apron. And wait a minute now, Rob Van Dam trips him up in there. And Van Dam just kicking his way out there. Oh, wait, Van Dam, wait, hook up to his feet. And Van Dam trips him up again. Van Dam getting the steps. You can see Taz trying to will his son to go forward here. Hook gets up here. And wait, Hook now retreating. Hook retreating here. Taz trying to distract Rob Van Dam. Hook, I think, same retreat. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Spear! Hook just using the ref as a way to block him and get that spear. And wait a minute now, Hook! The cross jacket! The cross jacket locked in. The cross jacket locked in on Van Dam. Will Van Dam submit? Van Dam. Van Dam has to submit. Hook wins this match. Hook with that massive cross jacket on the outside to win this match here tonight. What a win! For a hook here, look at this. This match got insane, folks. But tonight, Hook defeats Rob Van Dam in a false count anywhere match. And ladies and gentlemen, coming up next is our main event of Rampage here tonight. The final main event before the before all in London tomorrow. And out first, here they come. Konosuke Nakeshita, Claudio Castagnoli, Wheeler Yuta, the Blackpool Combat Club are here. Of course, coming together last month after their... After they had that war, this bond they, they forged in combat. And tonight, they face... They face another team, they face another faction... Of course, the leaders will clash tomorrow for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. But here they come. Taiji Ishimori. Tama Tonga. Tangaloa. The Bullet Club are here. And do they ever look ready to go for this main event tonight? A massive opportunity for the Bullet Club. Of course, these two, these three never on regular AEW television part of the New Japan Pro Wrestling roster, along with the IWGB Heavyweight Champion Zack Sabre Jr. and their leader, of course. That being their leader. And this... So this tonight, a big opportunity to get some exposure for Bullet Club here in the States. And you know Blackpool Combat Club feels the same. It's a great opportunity for them to stamp themselves early on 
as a team. They're still a new faction. And being able to beat this, you're here tonight. That would be a big step up for them. And here we go with this six-man tag team match. And I'll wait, big kick there to Wheeler Yuta from Taiji Ishimori. And a follow-up forearm there from Wheeler Yuta. And a massive forearm there. And wait picked up by Taiji. No, Yuta fights him off. And now Wheeler Yuta takes him into the corner. Oh, hits him there. Tag in the Claudio. Big gut punch there. And now throw into the corner once again. I'll throw into the enemy corner. And now Claudio looking to give some. He gives some receipts. Now he's staring at the Tongans. And now. Taiji Ishimori slowly picking himself up. Here comes Claudio. Taiji Ishimori catches him. And now Taiji into the corner with him. Taiji now. Tags in Tamatanga. And now Tamatanga and Taiji Ishimori with Claudio over the over the head. Oh, big hit there. And now Tamatanga working the neck. And take down there. One, two, kick out by Claudio. And now wait a minute. Oh, hit there from Kanosuke to catch the Tam Tamatanga. Trying to move in and take out early. And now wait a minute. Pulls on the arm. Does Tamatanga. And now Tamatanga once again going to pull on the arm once again. Claudio says no. Claudio cuts him off with a big boot. And now Claudio throws him over. And wait. Oh, hit there with a snake eyes from Kanosuke to catch up. And Takeshita picks him up and slams him out. And now wait a minute. Claudio with Tongaloa. Big slam there on the apron of Tongaloa. And now wait. Claudio running back around the ring. Claudio. The Blackpool Combat Club showing their tag team knowledge already. And now wait a minute. Bounces his head off, and here comes Taiji. Taiji Ishimori and him. Wait a minute, they're going to hit it again. Thrown over. Over the shoulders they go. Big hit there. And now looking for the standing moonsault. No, Claudio moved out of the way of the standing moonsault. And now Claudio Castagnoli with Taiji Ishimori. Throws him into the corner. Tag there once again to Yuta. Yuta now. Gut shot once again. And now throws him in again. And a tag to... And now a tag from Wheeler to Kanosuke. Now Wheeler has Kanosuke to catch the flying shoulder barge there. And Kanosuke to catch the... Telling him to stand up, but Claudio... Gonna go ahead. Wait a minute to catch the... Gonna go over the big dive. No, Claudio throws him back. And now, wait a minute. Trying to get up once again is Taiji Ishimori. Ishimori. Going to get cut off here. Ishimori into the ropes. And wait. Oh, Ishimori with a big f elbow there. Fighting his way out of that one. And wait. Ishimori catches him with a chop. And now Ishimori goes off. Springboard drop kick. The springboard drop kick connects. One. Two. Kick out once again. And now gets up to his feet. Does Wheeler Yuta. Wheeler Yuta throws him in. Massive knee lift once again connects. Tag to Tamatanga. But wait a minute now. What's he doing here? Picks him up. Power bomb to Tonga. And now Tamatanga and Tonga Loa. They're conversing about what they want to do in this situation here. And now wait a minute. German suplex to Tamatanga. And Tonga gets back up to his feet. Tamatanga set up once again. Picked up. Power bomb from Kanosuke again. And now coming off the ropes. Tonga and him collide. Tonga. 
Tomatonga throws him off. Goes under. Oh, massive catch there with that slam. And now Tomatonga starting to beat down here on Kanosuke to catch up. And now, wait a minute. Kanosuke to catch is going to get picked up. Butterfly pile driver connects. And now Tongaloa tagged in. And Bullet Club looking to show their dominance here. Big stomp there. And now wait a minute, picks himself up onto the onto the ropes. And Tongaloa. Oh man, what's he gonna do here? Tongaloa. Oh, using the ropes to choke to cast up. And now going back to the second one here. Oh, he ducks under it. Does Kanosuke. Tanosuke just barely avoids it here. And Tomatonga coming at him. Wait, Kanosuke wins that strike exchange. Follows up. Massive hit there. Oh, big buy, spy buster there to, to cash up. But Wheeler, you just there to break it up. Remember, both these teams' leaders fight on Saturday. Fight tomorrow for the IWGP heavyweight title. So you know, so you know, both team captains said, "Hey, go out there and win this matchup." And now, wait a minute, lifts him up, hits him again with a razor's edge like maneuver, and again, Wheeler Yuta there to break it. And now, Wheeler Yuta standing drop kick does not take down Tongaloa though, and a forearm as well does not take him down. Super kick does though. And now Takeshita trying to recover Taiji Ishimori. Gets in this match. He's not going to land. No. Takeshita cuts him off. Elbow drop to the back of Taiji Ishimori. Taiji Ishimori in trouble here. Takeshita picks him up. Spitting power bomb into the cover. One. Two. Kick out by Taiji Ishimori. And now wait. Tag to Yuta. Yuta in the match here. Now Yuta. Going to get him in with a knee bar. The knee bar locked in, and Tomatonga is going to break it. Tomatonga goes to hit Yuta. Super kick, no. And now Taiji Ishimori picks him up. Oh, that, that double underhook German suplex. And now, wait a minute. Drills him up, takes him down. One, but Claudio's there to break that. And now you can see the deadly intentions that Taiji Ishimori has. Leg drop over the throat. And now tags in the big man. Wheeler Yuta, the smallest man in this match, running for the corner, trying to tag someone. Tonga Loa saying, where are you going? Power slam connects. And now wait a minute, wait a minute. Tag to Claudio. Claudio connects with a big hit there. And now Claudio gets him up. Power bomb. The power bomb connects. And now wait a minute. Claudio casting. Yoli throws him there. And now takes it, tries to take out one Taiji Shimori. And he does. Takes out Taiji. Takes out Tarma. And now wait a minute. What's he going to do here? Brings him down with an arm drag off the top. And now trying to do extra damage. Trying to finish off Tonga while he's down. No, Tonga Loa gets up. Tonga Loa. Bullet Club take back control of the match. They collide. Tongaloa gets him up on the shoulders. Snake eyes! And now Tongaloa. They're going to throw him into the corner. No fights out of it. Does Claudio. Claudio gets him in. Neutralizer connects. And now, wait a minute, what's Konosuke Takeshita thinking? 
Konosuke disposes. And again. Oh, wait, Kadet Takeshita. No. Tongaloa picks him up. Powerbomb to Takeshita. One, two, no kick out there. Every time Blackpool Combat Club neutralized the Bullet Club and tried to finish this match, the Bullet Club, Tongaloa manages to come back and ensure that they don't get that opportunity. But wait, now Kano's getting a Kesta cutting off the ring. And a very smart maneuver here. Wait a minute. Another drop kick connects. And wait a minute. Sends him down. Big hit there. To Kesta. Hits him away. Picks him up. Power bomb. Knee strike. The power bomb knee strike combo connects. And now wait a minute. He's getting ready to hit it again. He wants to hit it again. He nails it. And wait a minute now. Claudio takes out Taiji. And now going to take out one, two, three. Blackpool Combat Club with the win. Claudio manages to neutralize the Bullet Club long enough. For Konosuke Takeshita to win the six man. Setting up this matchup for this Saturday at All in London. It will be the two leaders clashing for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. And look who's facing off on the stage Zack Sabre Jr. and Brian Danielson. Tomorrow night. They face each other for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship in Wembley Stadium in the co main event of All in London. What a match it's going to be. And ladies and gentlemen, to close the show tonight, it is the face-off between the number one contender and the Air National Champion. And here he comes. The number one contender for the AEW International title. Will Ospreay. Of course, Will Ospreay <laughs> winning the main event of, of Rampage, our first special a few, a few weeks ago against Eddie Kingston to earn the spot, to earn the number one contendership. Last week, having a face-off with Buddy Matthews tonight. They will get to go face-to-face -face one more time. And they've never spoken one word to each other so far. This will quite be the interesting confrontation between the two. Buddy, Buddy Matthews has had one of the most memorable reigns we've seen here in Ellis Love Universe, especially here in AEW. He is the longest reigning champion we have seen here in AEW thus far in the in the run of the promotion. And here he comes, the best kept secret, but he is secret no more. Buddy. Matthews. And Buddy Matthews with that international championship. The title that he holds. Like I said, this man has hold this title has hold this title as of tomorrow night. It will be officially one year. Since he beat Buddy Matthews for the main event of All Out. One of the best main events in the history of AEW. One of the best main events in the history of LS11 Universe. And Buddy Matthews is able to pin Malachi Black to take the, to take the AEW International Championship from him. 
and then Ray Ma Buddy Matthews has gone on since then has set a new standard has set a standard for this championship he is the second ever champion and with this kind of ring you're reminded of somebody like a Pat Patterson somebody who set the standard for the championship so early and it's right we are going to hear them go face to face so first things first welcome to my home you're in my home territory both tonight and tomorrow Thank you for welcoming me. I truly like this. I truly like this opportunity here to talk to you. Because guess what? I ain't afraid of you. I am Buddy Matthews. I am the international champion. You. I'll admit, you are a hell of a talent. And perhaps you are. The, my most challenging challenge yet for this title. But you are not my tallest mountain. In case you all forgot the men I've been in this ring. Men you can't imagine. I took John Cena to his limit before. I beat Seth Rollins. I have set a standard for the international title. As far as I'm concerned, the international title is the main title here in AEW. As far as I'm concerned, Jay White reports to me. And I am sure that you will be a hell of a match tomorrow. But that's all you will be. Is that right? Yeah. The right? Yeah. You clearly don't know who you're dealing with. I. I am the greatest modern wrestling talent in the world. I came here to AEW to show my greatness. I came here to AEW to prove to everyone in the world that I am still the very best in the world. I climb to the top of New Japan. One day, I may climb to the top of somewhere else. But today, I climb to the top of AEW. And to do that, I have to go through you. And even better yet, I get to do it at Wembley Stadium. The way my people and my heroes did. The way people like the British Bulldog did. Tomorrow night, it will be a history making event. On that level. When I pin you. To end your historic reign. And become. The new. AEW. International champion. That's very nice. But. Something I was taught by my mentor. There's going to be a lot of people like you to come. Get in line. Buddy Matthews telling Will Ospreay, as far as he's concerned, he's no like, he's not like any, he is no more like anybody else who Buddy Matthews has beat to retain the international championship thus far. This match goes down tomorrow at All in London for the international title. I've been Ray. That was Universe.